Yes, hi Rishik, uh, congratulations so for your Thank JRF. You. Uh, so Rishik is with us. He cracked JRF with 198 score, right? Yes, yes. So you can share with everyone how was your journey, how you prepare, and what was your strategy? Because when most of the students are not getting 160, 150, they are struggling, you got 198. So what was your strategy? Please share with everyone. Okay. Uh, I gave the position at exam last time also. Uh, last time I did not take the paid course, but I followed your YouTube uh, 40 day, 45 day crash course video, and I cleared uh, net examination. So I thought uh, I should take your paid course for the next time. Uh, and uh, I took the paid course, but I couldn't study uh, all the way because. Uh, I was in my final semester of my MSc and I was doing internship. Mm. So uh, I could only study at the night hours. Mm. Uh, night from 2 to 3 hours every night. So and after, before the exam, I only got one month. So in that one month and those 3 to 4 hours, I, I only studied those of it. Okay. So what are the topic you studied and how you prepare? Means uh, so many master degree students are there, those who are preparing now and now. Uh, they are able to do also like you also did in masters her Simran was also this there in masters there are so many candidates so those who are going to prepare those who are starting their preparation uh, how they can manage time and how they can go for, ahead for this plan uh, and for time management I watched your YouTube video before the exam so that only I was, uh, I first uh, went to the comprehension questions and all and uh, uh, my study plan was uh, normally uh, uh, like your 45 day crash, crash course that was there mm -hmm. i used the same uh, that time i made some notes mm -hmm. so i already had my own, own notes and i watched your youtube recorded lectures mm -hmm. uh, from those which i which the topics i didn't study before i make the notes of those only mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Yes, and that's it. And in paid course, you attempted mock test, test series? Yes, ma'am. Only two. Two full length. Two, mock, two full lengths. Yes. Okay. Any other mock test you attempted? I mean, small, uh, yes, small mock test, uh, yes, subject wise? Mock, mock, yes, subject wise, ma'am. Uh, four to five lectures. Uh, four to five? Test. Subject. Huh. Subjects. From each subject, there were two to, to something. Huh. Full length Those actually we provide for each and every subject wise 100 yes, questions. Those mock tests you attempted? Yes ma'am, 2 to 3 all those all. So what are the subjects you focus mainly out of 10 uh, unit? First was uh, theory of computation, that's very important. Those uh, tables and formulas, something lemma and all. Hmm. Uh, second was operating system, networks and artificial intelligence. Okay. And these are the subjects only you focus. DBMS, networking. Networks I did. Uh, DBMS I completed. I studied completely, but uh, at the time of revision, I only took those topics uh, from which previous year questions were there. Okay, that was your strategy. So yes. all the previous years question where they are focusing more, you also focus there. So last one month, what you did? Uh, last one month, um, since uh, that was the only time for me to prepare. From uh, for last ten days, I used for previous year questions and mock tests and all. And twenty days, I have to uh, completed my revision. How you did revision? Most of the time, students are not getting how to do revise whole yeah. syllabus and all. Uh, since I already made notes, I used my in-depth notes. To study all and those topics which I thought that even slightly I am doubtful about that I rewatched your recorded lectures on those topics. Okay, wherever means wherever you got stuck at the time of practicing question, even you watch slightly stuck, I watch your, your classes. Lectures. Okay. Uh, so actually, uh, time management in exam hall. Did you face any problem because uh, most of the students was telling that uh, it is lengthy paper, uh, not getting time. So what do you feel? 
it was lengthy paper ma'am uh, so what i did uh, i i couldn't i didn't know at the time of exam it was lengthy but uh, after a couple of hours i understand i understood that there are so many questions remaining so those questions i thought i could not i those time taking questions i thought after the two hours mm. so in those questions i did not waste time i only thought that uh, in, instead of getting the perfect answer i thought that which which option should be eliminated mm. so the so the chances of the questions getting correct were increased okay. in those questions elimination method you applied yes. and uh, before uh, that two hours you completely focus on known area and easy questions all that like that way only what we did what i told in exam yes, time management yes. okay great uh, and for paper 1 and paper 2 how you balance most of the time that is also a big problem uh, ma'am i only took course for paper 2 only mm. uh, for paper 1 uh, i did not take course uh, mm. in, because uh, last time i cleared ugc net in that also i was satisfied with paper 1 uh, i have never studied anything about paper 1 what okay. are some uh, techniques are there so first one what are is the those most important techniques technique. what are those first, techniques first most important technique i use is always answer positive answers okay <laughs> okay so understanding the question is very important in the and some questions are from cs only from in the first yeah, ict ict is there yeah. ict is there some venn diagram some questions are there logical reasoning math di logical ict reasoning. these all are actually computer science students easily able to do and other than that teaching aptitude research communication so normally teaching and communication also positive way yes. if you are thinking you can do it but uh, people and environment uh, also somehow we know little bit higher education without learning and logical reasoning yeah, in I... indian logic you can't do without learning definitely not possible so you did not try any pyqs or anything for paper 1 oh ma'am so what was your score in paper 1 and paper 2 ma'am um, paper 1 i got 30 questions correct okay and remaining paper 2 means out yes, of 198 means 30 means they are 60 so here you got uh, one 130 138 here okay 64 74 yeah. 74 question correct great so so you are very strong in paper 2 and that's why uh, you did mtech you are doing mtech no ma'am uh, i uh, in june 20 june only i gave my final exam of msc, uh, MSC. i was doing integrated msc integrated msc okay yes. okay okay very integrated MSc means uh, you are from computer science background or any math background? Computer, computer science. science background. That's okay. why I did not take first first paper course. I knew I had good foundation in computer science. Ah uh, yeah, that's good. Good foundation in computer science. That much uh, confidence you have. That is good. And I remember when challenge was going on. I think I did challenge from your yes. Uh, yes. that one also, and you two Interest times. Two questions from my account. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you did any benefit for the those uh, challenge? Yes, ma'am. Uh, before the challenges, uh, I was getting 194 marks. After the challenge, I got 198 marks. Okay, so two quest, two marks. Yes, ma'am. So anything you want to share for those who are going for JRF or aiming for JRF? Anything, any special uh, message? Not really, ma'am. I am not that wise. You are wise, definitely. You did it. This is a very good score. And what is your future plan? You want to do PhD, definitely. You want to yes, ma'am. I'll be what the JRF definitely. So it was your first attempt or second attempt? Second attempt. You got NAIT uh, last actually, time. It was my third attempt. Okay. Uh, at the time of uh, in for, uh, I, my third year uh, mm. in my BSc final year, uh, I I found out that one of my seniors also did that exam and he did UGC net. Okay. So I thought I should also give. So uh, in the in the same year uh, December attempt I gave the exam. Mm. Uh, I cleared PhD only. Mm. Uh, I did that without any study. Mm. Uh, only my classes I studied and mm. revision from my classes. So I thought I should study. I studied a bit and cleared UGC net exam with your 45 day crash course series on YouTube. 
so i thought i should take a course from you okay so first you crack phd after that you crack net yes. and now this is the third attempt you crack jr so within your masters only you are you able to do it and now you will go for phd so no need to take any extra break or gap nothing required this is a really good plan that i am also feeling good that now most of the students those who are doing masters they are coming they are doing they are cracking it very yes. good without wasting time and in this uh, very young age you all are able to do it and you will get success very soon all the best all the best All the best. Definitely do your best. Best wishes Thanks. for your future. Thank you. Thank you for your time.